good evening to each of you. This may be the first time you've met me, but I assure you I'm working hard on your behalf. I have a slight cold, so forgive me if I've kept my distance from you, but I didn't want to mess up Daryl Allison's nice handkerchief. It looks so nice, I was going to grab that, but I had to get some tissue. But I would not have missed this opportunity for the world. Now, I represent, the eight counties that I represent were all listed on our map of North Carolina with the outreach of the um, parents for educational freedom. And I will have to say I am so thankful to them because from the moment that I engaged uh, Holly and Allison, and, and Allison, that's why I can remember both of your names, I um, have been impressed with their response toward me. East of I-95, we don't always get the opportunities and the choices. And so I wanted to be sure that our residents, our tax-paying citizens, had the opportunity to access educational choice. That is so important to me. And you might think that's strange. I'm a public school, traditional public school educator. And I started my teaching career in Northampton County. Then I became a member of the school board, and because I was on the school board, I couldn't teach in Northampton. I went right across the line, and I've been teaching in Virginia since. I uh, talked today and did tutorial, but I made sure I left in time that I could get here to be with you. Because I could give you a bunch of statistics, I can give you a bunch of information, but you have been thoroughly supplied with the resources that you need to spread the word. I just want to share with you my personal story. I have four children, three of them are living. At one time, in snapshot, if you look at our household, I had two kids in private school, one in the traditional public school, and one in a public charter. How many of you are familiar with KIPP, charter school, KIPP, Gaston, GCP? And the interesting thing, my eldest is one of the first in the graduating class at KIPP, GCP. What amazing opportunities came from a peanut field in uh, Gaston, Northampton County. At one point when I did not live in this area, I was in a brand new community for me and my kids needed to have an adequate education as well as a community. Too many times when we talk about private school education, everybody puts their hands up or there's a little bit of resistance. Choices, you ever wonder why McDonald's can set up shop right across the street from Hardee's, right up the block from Burger King, uh, right around the corner from Bojangles? Why can they all set up shop in the same location? It's just like Miles Monroe said, if you want to all be fatty special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun, you know where you're going to go. If you want a classic, you know where you want to go. If you want something healthier, maybe a Subway, you know where you want to go. So we have those choices with food. Why can't we have those choices for our children? How many of you have children that are cookie cutter and exactly alike, everybody else's children? You know, the same children in the same family are different. And so we have to start promoting the opportunities for our children to be able to be educated in the environment that is most conducive to their success. And so that is the way I treated my children, and that is the way I know many of us parents, if we had the choice and had the resources, we would want to provide that opportunity for our children, the greatest asset that we have, to be able to be educated and receive a quality education. The last thing I want to share with you is that our state constitution requires in Article 9, that for the sake of religion and morality and basically good government or the ability to operate in good government, North Carolina would always promote a proper education and support it to the hill. And that is why I support educational choice. I want you to take everything that you have received tonight and I want you to go back to the various communities. I want to see us come to, to Lasker. I also want to see us come to the Iowa Mall, okay? With Northeast Academy, we have so many schools that need our support and need to hear this information because we need to be about providing choice for all of our children. Thank you for what you do and your presence here tonight. And by the time Daryl gets around to all of the eight counties that I serve, that we will be able to grow this program 
and grow the opportunities so all of our children can have educational choice. Thank can we, you. Can we thank the Senator? Thank you.